So I explained what that situation was. I actually physically called them on the phone because there's a lot more potentially to the situation. And I told them to immediately change their passwords, which they did. And when they changed their password and they put in the one-star review, was that ever changed again? I do not know. Uh, she changed it back to a one. The password has changed. Whomever is locked out of it cannot well, make that Well, that's what again. I'm asking you. Yes, ma'am. So when it was changed back to a one, and they changed their password, that was never changed again. So whoever had the original password to get onto their Google account could not get into the account again Correct. to change it. Okay, anything else you have to tell me? Oh, yes, Your Honor. After that was just one incident, this comes into two cases. There's basically a situation where there were reviews left on the defendant's website and then reviews that were uh, left on the plaintiff's website. Your Honor? Shh, shh, just a minute. Are you talking about reviews by the defendant of the plaintiff's company? We can go through this very quickly for some... That number of pages is not very quickly to me. Okay, one well, there's one, there's, one that's just, there's one that's kind of damning. Okay, I'd like to take a look at it. Okay, so here are a lot of positive things for his company. Positive things for his company in the past. Very first thing you see. I see, I see it. I see, he's got five stars. What are you talking about with regard to negative comments with regard to his company? Okay, well, very I first thing is the first review that you see is not really Dr. Donna Scary. That email address is not associated with her email account. Her official Google account is the second one you see with the one star, Dr. Period Donna with small case. This first one coming up giving a five star review, the first one you see, is not, has, was not done by Dr. Donna Just Scary. Just a second. Fine. What's next? What's next? You've already told me that already. Okay. I hear you pa already. Page two showing that Dr. Donna Scary was the one, the one star review based on how her name is shown. Listen to me carefully. Sure. I got it. Okay. I got him. I got her. I thought you said to me there were some comments posted about his company right. by her that were positive. No. So you're still on this one star, five star. Yes, because the five star was, was not physically done. I don't care. I, I got it. Okay. I mean, don't make it a bigger mitzia okay. than it is. I understand sure. what happened. And then she gave him a bad review. Somebody, most likely him, went in and changed it to a five star review. They're two separate accounts. Negative, I don't Your Honor. care. Okay. I have an email with her implying that she left that review because she asked me to take a lock off of it. She left me a negative review. Then when we got back together and I was helping her, she left me a positive review. Then she left me a negative review at the same time that the positive was posted. She posted this. If you'll refer to this, Your Honor, it says, please remove the locked Google review at this point. Why can't I remove it? And the nature of that email is negative which clearly states that she's trying to remove a positive review that she left, or Kate, or... Shh, shh, Yes. Did you start talking to her again after June? You see, I have this June letter from the daughter, yes, which sir, apologizes. Yes. And the initial review was one day. When she left me a negative review, I got in touch with her and said, what's going on? You guys, right. I couldn't get in touch with you guys. Then she said, oh, that's okay. We're back together. And you see the nature of the, one of the emails. So let me see this. Then she left a positive review because she felt bad about the negative. Maybe. Mm -hmm. She would have only True. edited her own review. And then she couldn't figure Listen out. to me. If you're here as an expert, <laughs> don't be an advocate. Do you understand? He's saying something far more substantive than you are addressing. Do you understand? If you're here to explain something to me, and if you want me to accept you as an expert, don't get into an advocate's position. Do we yes, understand each other? Yes, ma'am. Good. Hold now on. you can sit. 